In this video, I'm going to show you how you use this one together with this controller to make it like Ableton Live style when you do live gigs. Coming up! To make a new custom mode setting for your launch pad so that it works with your MC707, you have to uh, Google uh, components from Novation and you get into this page. So here you can go in and go to components. Okay, and then I just choose my Launchpad Pro and then I will get this picture. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is to create a new custom mode. So I will just create here and here is my new custom uh, mode. So as you can see, this is all blank as the uh, launch pad beside me here is also all blank. To make this work on your MC707, you have to make program change as your default buttons. Because to, uh, to launch clips and scenes on your MC707, uh, it's program change that makes that happen. So what you do here in, uh, in this window, you just drag and drop all the buttons over here. So uh, this correspondent with the first row and the eight tracks and uh, so on. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill it up. This will take a little bit of time, but I will fast forward. Now, uh, this first row down here is track number one on the MC707, and that's MIDI channel one. And all those are MIDI channel one to start with, so that's not a big deal. Uh, the program number is a zero all the way here. Okay, the next row has to be MIDI channel number two. So now I can just mark them all. Uh, I will just go down to row number seven because number row number eight, I gonna have my scene clips. Okay, so I put this MIDI channel two on all them. So now they are all MIDI channel two. Okay, the next one. So to trigger the first row here of uh, clips, that has to be C program change number zero, and they all are. So then we just go to the next and set them to program number one. You actually have to go through every one of them to do like this. So I think I'm gonna fast forward this as well. Okay, so now that's done. The next thing I want to do, I want to colorize them because I know that my clips, they are yellow when I want to trigger them. So I think I'm just going to paint all of those yellow. And this row here, I'll keep red because I'm going to use that row to, to trigger empty clips. So that if I want like a pause in my session, I can just push that row and uh, have an empty clip. In the bottom here, I'm gonna paint them blue because scenes are blue. Or this one? Or this one? No. This one. Okay. So now it looks like this. And now I will just send this information to my launch pad. Just push this button here into uh, you can select between eight custom modes and i will select number two so now it looks the same as it did on the picture so now it's time to disconnect it and connect it to the mc707 and see if this is working i just loaded up a project in my mc707 and now i'm going to show you that this really works i can start it So now I triggered drum pattern number two, that is also number two here. And as you can see, it matches the, the things on the MC707 as well. 
for the first track here it's only two clips that are uh, active. What I can do, I can go to the next. So now you see the yellow, this is actually then row number three actually. That's why I like to have the Novation Launchpad because it makes it so much easier to see all your all your clips. So you can see now this and this and this. It's nothing quite synced because I started it in a different uh, different uh, beat. Okay, and the scenes are down here, as you can see. This is the first scene, and then the second scene is now. And the third scene. Do you see? It works perfectly and it gives you a much better view of your MC707 because what I really missed was I only had two roads with, with buttons that I could see my clips. Uh, so that's why I bought this Launchpad 3 Pro. So it's actually the only one that works uh, with this because the other ones don't have MIDI and you need MIDI out to do this. Don't buy the ones with only the USB out because that will not work, I tell you. <laughs> so if you want to do this, buy the new Launchpad Mark III Pro. That's the only Launchpad that works like this. I tried the uh, Mark II, but that didn't work because you couldn't program program changes and all that stuff like you can on this one. So there you have it, my way to play my MC707 as Ableton Live in a way. See you in the next one.